Hello, I'm Admiral McFish, and this is a tutorial on how to hack Bison 2 in the PS1 port of Street Fighter EX2+. Plus. I recommend, as with all these videos, to go back and view my very first video just on the basics of character hacking. As with all of these sorts of hacking methods, you're going to need the program that you want to hack open, you're going to need a cheap program such as Art Money, and you're going to need to select the process you want to hack, and as with many games, though not all, you're going to want the character values listed. You'll need them for Street Fighter EX2+, Plus, and I'll have them in the description of the video anyway, because the characters in the character selection screen are not in order of ascending character value. So, for instance, um, when with Kairi and Hokuto, the next character is not the next character that has the increase of character value, if that makes any sense. You'll see what I mean when we get into it. So we'll go to arcade mode. and you want to search for the numbers associated with the character. So if we go to Doctrine Dark, we search for 3. Go to Pullum. Skullamania. Quilt of 6, because that's its value. Okay, that's not going to work on the character selection screen, so let's go into the game itself. Some games have different values for the selection screen than they do for the characters, and that means you'll have to go into the game itself and hack the character proper if you want to hack the character address. It varies from game to game, though. So Doctrine Dark is character value 3, so you search for 3. Let me change character. Not really sure why the PS1 version of this was requested. Some people just really like ports of games though, even with the arcade versions being fully emulatable. It's a preference, I suppose. Then we filter. You always filter after you've done an initial search for all subsequent uh, all subsequent characters. So we filter here for six. Then we go back to the character selection screen. Let's go for Guile. <sighs> right, filter for nine. Great, that's good, that's a good sign. Go back and we'll select one more character just to test that we do have the character addresses. So let's go for uh, Sharon. And any and all of the character addresses should come up with a value of five. Wonderful. I don't know if that one... Whatever, it doesn't matter. We've got it. So let's go back to the character selection screen. And then you want to place the value for Bison 2 in the values of the character addresses. So keys 1B, uh, that is... I can't even remember what that is. Just type it in here, it's 27, so... Then we freeze every single value in place once we put all the values there, and then we select to accept the character. Yep, there we go. Uh, 
Okay. That's not right. Let's try that again, shall we? Let's try selecting bison, that might help. Because that was supposed to be bison too, but something went wrong there. What the fuck? Okay, we'll work this out somehow. When this happens, uh, just try every single address individually. See if that helps instead, basically. So then we leave one with 27, because we know it's trying to load that, but something's not quite right there. Yeah, that's just regular bison. So we're onto something, but it's not quite right. I'm not sure that it is. I've never seen this before, so we'll just roll with it, see how it goes. 27, and it's like three. Nope, that's not it. So, back to the selection screen. Try that, that should load him if it's the last two addresses we have to try. Okay, we've got bison two. We suffer from the same problem there. What the fuck? Okay, let's try this individually. It might be a mix-up between character value and character model or something. It does happen in 3D fighting games. So this is a learning process. You learn it as you go along. Better to fail and then to learn than to, you know, never have to deal with it at all. Okay, that's bison too. There we go. No. Yes, yes, there we go. Thank fuck. Okay, that's all that. Thank God. Right, I have no clue what the hell that was.
I, I, I couldn't begin to explain. But it does work. It's just, um, as I said, it's probably something to do with the character models and character values, I'd suspect. So they tend to be controlled by different things in 3D fighting games. It's just how the coding works. As you can see, though, that is how to hack Bison 2. You just need to have those values. Uh, search for and filter for the values associated with certain characters, and it will eventually work. But then you have a lot of addresses, so you're going to just have to use trial and error to find out which one is which. That's life. Anyway, hope this helps everybody out. It's basically the exact same thing for the arcade version, except probably a little less batshit. Any more questions, of course, always feel free to ask, always feel free to make more requests. Thanks very much, as always, for watching.